Hey guys, I just wanted to make a video about psychedelics and their link to mental health issues, right? And this is what we've been told, right? That taking psychedelics will worsen your mental health and that they cause psychosis and, you know, typical bullshit and propaganda, right? And before I go on, I just want to say that no, I am not condoning psychedelics by any means. I just want to clear up a lot of misconceptions and just bullshit. <laughs> and lies about these substances. I mean, like we've been told our whole lives, right? Through, by the government, by our teachers, by our parents, by the mainstream media, that psychedelics are very dangerous drugs and we should never touch. And don't question it. And if you touch these dangerous drugs, you could even end up in prison. Because like with psychedelics, they're in Australia, they're under the class A, right? And in America, they're Schedule 1, meaning that, like, for a substance to be under those classifications, they have to, ha these substances have to have zero, not one piece of medical or therapeutic use, and they have a high chance of abuse. <laughs> See, that right there is like... <gasps> Yeah, it goes to show that it goes to show that laws are not based on science and morals, right? Psychedelics are one of the most healing, beneficial tools that nature has given us, right? And they're the least toxic and least addictive substances of them all. Ask any scientist, and they will tell you that psychedelics are the least toxic substance known to pharmacology. But yeah, anyways, the in terms of like their link with mental health issues, yeah, like I've talked about before, like yes, of course, psychedelics can do more harm than good, but what the mainstream media doesn't tell you is that this is a very, very small, minute percentage of people, right? They had, that, they had an article in the Journal of Psychopharmacology and they, the study concluded that there was no scientific evidence that would suggest that there is a link between psychedelic and mental health issues and that the claims against these drugs, particularly LSD, have been greatly exaggerated, especially when you look at the current drug laws against them. You know, they had one study, uh, one longitude study on peyote, and they found that one in every 70,000 people had, adverse ref uh, had an adverse reaction with this psychedelic plant. One in every 70,000 guys, that's like, that's huge. And on top of this, in the study they found that this one in every 70,000 people who had an adverse reaction to peyote were already prone to psychosis anyway. So in short, they, so they were going to probably go into psychosis in the long run, psychedelics just sped up that process. And there are even some cases where psychedelics have helped people with psychosis. So like, it's this weird thing, like, which I don't have too much knowledge about it, so I'm not going to talk about it. But yeah, one in every 70,000, guys, that's like, how small of a percentage is that? You know what, that people get a really serious injury through horse riding every 350 hours? Do you know how many people die every day on the roads you can die from drinking too much water for fuck's sake and we're made of this stuff and water is like so good for our health and vitality i'm telling you this because everything in life can have a negative effect but it makes no sense to make these plants illegal because of that because by that logic alcohol would be illegal cigarettes would be illegal cars would be illegal knives would be illegal jesus you know, you know what i mean so I'm just over it. I'm just over this, this bullshit. And there was another study in the Netherlands that found that one in every 50,000 hospitalizations were due to uh, psilocybin mushrooms. And again, you've got to think that those one in 50,000 hospitalizations, those, you, you could say it's a, there's probably a high chance that these, these guys didn't take set and setting very seriously. Because <laughs> that's, that's the thing. A lot of these, these bad trips are due to fragile mind state or they didn't take set and setting right. Do you know how many people I know from high school who did acid, who does acid at parties? 
Like that, that is insane to me. So, you, if as long as you take these substances responsibly, you have a good intention and all the rest, then the chances of psychedelics doing harm to you is very, very minute. But you know, there are no guarantees in life as well. So just remember that. But yeah, in terms of this link between psychedelics and mental health issues kind of bullshit isn't it <laughs> I mean for one it helped me with my mental health turned me sane made me more appreciative of life and it's done the same for countless of people but again of course they don't tell you this in the mainstream media they don't teach you this stuff at school they just say that these drugs are bad and you should never touch them and like and as well, like it makes sense that these things are illegal anyway, because I don't think that the government would want everyone taking these substances, which are known to increase critical thinking, and as well to cure severe mental illnesses in like one session, right? They don't want they don't want healthy, happy, free-thinking people. So that would make sense, and of course, a lot of people are clinging onto that idea ideology right the psychedelic is just straight out bad for you i remember my mate he was telling me his therapist his old, his old therapist was, was like super against mushrooms i remember because he brought it up and the the therapist was like no nah, they're just bad 100 percent. just period they're bad they cause psychosis I swear to god that's what the, the therapist said and there is no like Psyched, psychedelic induced psychosis is actually a myth and there is no scientific evidence that would point towards this it's all ideologies so it's a myth it's bullshit <laughs> so yeah that's it guys like i said i'm not promoting psychedelic drugs i just like to clear up misconceptions and and bullshit because i'm just sick of all these lies against these substances which can do a lot of good and they're known to increase your overall mental health rather than make it worse Okay, so that's it. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Oh, and before I forget, actually, me just letting you know that tomorrow I'm having a podcast session with Icarus480, with, which is another fellow psychonaut YouTuber. So, yeah, looking forward to that. He's like a super cool guy, he has some really good insights on psychedelics. So, check him out. I'll put a link on his channel below. So yeah. See you guys. Peace.